Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Well, that sounds good. Uh, page 270. <laughs> Happy New Year. Happy New Year. All right. Turn to page 277. And the lead be guide me 277. What child? Happy New, Year. Happy New Year. And before we begin our Mass, I uh, would like that, that uh, for all of us, just pause for a moment uh, in respect for Pope Emeritus Benedict XVI. Eternal rest grant unto him, O Lord. May his soul and all the souls of all the faithful departed through the mess of God rest in peace. Amen. Amen. I wish to welcome all the visitors who are with us this morning. We hope to enjoy our liturgy and thank you for choosing St. Anthony of Padua. The Mass intention is for Dennis and Janet Gerhardt, uh, requested by Kathy Rairi for their uh, ma uh, marriage anniversary. Uh, they are celebrating 58 years in their marriage. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God the Father, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. And to prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries, let us acknowledge our sins and ask for God's mercy and forgiveness. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, a virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me, the Lord. May the Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, 
and bring us to everlasting life. virginity of blessed Mary bestowed in the human race the grace of eternal salvation grant we pray that we may experience the intercession of her through whom we are found worthy to receive the author of life our Lord Jesus Christ your son who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit God forever and ever A reading from the book of Numbers. The Lord said to Moses, Speak to Aaron and his sons and tell them, This is how you shall bless the Israelites. Say to them, The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord let his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord look upon you kindly and give you peace. So shall they invoke my name upon the Israelites, and I will bless them. The word of the Lord. May God bless us in his mercy. May God bless us in his mercy. May God have pity on us and bless us. May he let his face shine upon us. So may your way be known upon the earth. Among all nations, your salvation. May God bless us in his mercy. May the nations be glad and exalt, because you rule the peoples in equity. 
the nations on earth. You guys. may God bless us in His mercy. May the people praise you, O oh God. May all the peoples praise you. May God bless us, and may our earth of ends of earth may fear him. May God bless us in his mercy. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Galatians. Brothers and sisters, when the fullness of time had come, God sent his son, born of a woman, born under the law, so that we might receive adoption as sons. As proof that you are sons, God sent the spirit of his son into our hearts, crying out, Abba, Father, so you are no longer a slave, but a son. And if a son, also an heir, through God. The word of the Lord. spoke to our ancestors to the prophets in these last days he has spoken to us to the son be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. The shepherds went in haste to Bethlehem and found Mary and Joseph and the infant laying in the manger. When they saw this, they made known the message that had been told them about this child. All who heard it were amazed by what had been told them by the shepherds, and Mary kept these things, reflecting on them in her heart. Then the shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all they had heard and seen, just as it had been told to them. When eight days were completed for his circumcision, he was named Jesus, the name given him by the angel before he was conceived in the womb. The Gospel of the Lord. Today we celebrate the solemnity of Mary as the Holy Mother of God. And also today in our church is the World Day of Prayer for Peace. Peace that we all 
want to have all over the world. When we call Mary as the Holy Mother of God, that's what she is. Because sometimes we Catholics, we don't say it with confidence, especially when we are with other people from other churches or religions to say, yes, Mary, she is the Holy Mother of God. Not that she created God, but she allowed God to become human in the way she responded to her, uh, to the God's call. That's what we call it, the incarnation. God incarnate, he was incarnate, incarnated into the womb of Mary. So we should be confident whenever we say Mary is the Holy Mother of God. Just last week we heard the gospel from John, which says, in the beginning was the word, and the word was with God, and the word was God, and the word became flesh and dwelt among us. And that is what happens, and that's what we are celebrating today. Mary, the Holy Mother of God. Because Jesus, who was the Word, is God, and he became one like us. So that the communication was clear and perfect to us as human beings. God dwelt among us. And that's what we have heard St. Paul also talking about when the time and the fullness of time had come, God sent his only son to be born of a woman, born under the law so that he can save us. And that is a good thing to thank God for when we are celebrating within the birth of our Lord Jesus Christ we celebrate also how Mary responded to God's call. She cooperated with the Holy Spirit that she became the mother of our Savior. We are grateful, we are thankful for her to respond faithfully. And we learn from her how to respond to God's call today. So as we enter into this new year, we thank God for our salvation. And we thank him for so many blessings that we received in the past year. All of us, we have the blessings that we say thank you to God. Yes, maybe the past year we experienced some challenges or some things that were not really comfortable to our lives. But above all, there's so much to thank God for, especially our life. We are here alive today. That is the beginning of saying Thank you, Lord, for the gift of life and for so many blessings that God bestowed upon us. And we are entering to this new year with thanksgiving, but at the same time, we continue to pray for many blessings. There are so many people, our beloved ones, who have not entered into this new year. For example, Pope Emeritus Benedict, he didn't enter into this new year. His time came to go back to our through homeland. But we thank God, even for our beloved ones who have gone. They have left so much to us for our memories. So it's not like a loss. We know in our faith, when people leave Mother Earth, they are not, their life does not end. They have an eternal life. And that we have to be grateful to God, our Father. So, yes, we thank God for Mary. We thank God for our Lord Jesus Christ to bring salvation to all of us. We thank him for so many blessings. But then what do we do moving into this new year? It's not just thanksgiving. It's not just praying for the blessings. We learn from the shepherds today. When they were blessed with the appearance of the angel who gave them the first-hand message that the Savior is born in the city of David, they went in haste. They communicated the message. That's what we are learning from these shepherds. From our blessings, we go out as messengers of God. How do we go out as messengers of God? 
we learn from the book of Numbers, God is going to bless us, like he did with the Israelites. There are three invocations that we have heard uh, in the first reading today. The first invocation, which has a double blessing, it says, the Lord bless you and keep you. That is what we want as we go into the new year. The Lord continue to bless us and to keep us, meaning to care for us. But this is not just us to keep. We have to share it out. We have to bless one another. We have to bless all those people who need God's blessing by praying for them, by reaching out to them. And we have to be there to care for one another, to keep one another. That is how God blesses us. He blesses us so that we can bless others with so many things that he has bestowed upon us. We look in the past year. How, do, how did I use my time for the Lord and for other people? Because time is a gift, it's a blessing for all of us. We have a life today. We have time. How do we share it with other people out there? People are lonely. People are sick. Are we sharing that time with others? Or oh, it's just about me. And then the Lord, we, we hear in the second uh, invocation, the Lord let his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. That shining face of God should not just remain with us. We have to go out, be a shining light of God to others. Those people are depressed. Those people are lonely. Those people who do not have anybody to talk to. Let's be a shining face of God to them. Let's be gracious to them. Let's smile more often. Some of us, our faces are too serious. All the time we are serious. We need to smile to one another. Even when we reach to the people who are sick, people are lonely, smile more often. Laugh more often. It's very healthy to laugh, to smile, because that is the gift of God that we can give. That's the shining face of God on us. And he wants us to shine wherever we are. Be gracious. Reach out. Open up. Maybe there are some people that, that in the past year I had problem with in my relationship. We have to, be, to have new beginnings in our relationship with every human person. If we have moved other, pushed other people away from our lives, they need us. They need that shining face to them, the shining face of God. We need to let go of the past. That's what God wants, a new beginning that we bring that graciousness wherever we are. The third invocation is saying, may the Lord let his, be kind to you and give you peace. And that's the way we have to be to one another. Be kind to other people. Your words, kind words that come from our mouth. And also we bring peace. It begins with ourselves. Peace in our minds. Peace in our hearts. And then we bring that peace to others. That's what the Lord wants. So all those blessings, God wants us to share with other people. If I didn't do much in my talents, my gifts, in the past year, God wants me to use those talents for other people. My treasure, the same thing. All the blessings must be shared with other people. That will be a new beginning of this new year, to respond as messengers of good news. And good news is all about love, peace, justice, caring for one another, be kind. That's the way we build our families and the fa parish family and our communities. So let's allow God to bless us in this new year. Open our hearts. Let the past be the past. Let us not carry the past into this new year. If our relationship were not good, let's build them with the blessings that God is bestowing upon us. That's how we say thank you for Mother Mary, for Jesus, for our salvation, is to respond as messengers of this good news. May God bless us and let his face shine upon us.
Let us now profess our faith. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father, through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary, and he became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day, in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven, and he seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom we have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. And I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. And now with joy we present our petitions, our prayers, and all our needs to God. We pray for the repose of the soul of Pope Emeritus Benedict XVI, that the Lord receive him into his eternal paradise and reward him for his loyalty and dedication to the chair of St. Peter. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For rebirth in the church, may the new year bring us new and deep insight and wisdom as we join Pope Francis in all his efforts and prayers to unify the church and the world. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the gift of hope, give us the grace to forge new beginnings in any of our broken relationships and free us from all that is, was bound, that has bound us in the past, that we may live more fully in happiness, love, and service to others. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our parish family as we enter the new year, we pray for the presence of God's love in our parish and families, a love that shows itself in patience, forgiveness, sharing, and sincere gratitude. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For peace and justice in our country and the world, particularly for those who have suffered from wars and gun violence inspire government leaders to end bloodshed, heal divisions, and protect the least among us. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who are suffering, the hungry and the homeless, those who suffer through violence, the sick and caregivers, the depressed and the addicted, sustain their spirits, strengthen their hope. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all our faithful departed and for those who have died in wars, violence, and natural disasters this past year around the world, that the Lord welcome them and give them eternal peace. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For what else shall we pray?
Lord, hear our prayer. Almighty God and Father, Father of love and Prince of Peace, we thank you for receiving our prayers and we pray that you inspire us by your spirit to continue responding faithfully as your servants and messengers of good news wherever we are. Grant all this through Christ our Lord. Amen. I'm turning to page 162. Indeed, make a joyful noise. 162. Jesus is a wonderful child.
sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. O God, who in your kindness begin all good things and bring them to fulfillment, grant to us who find joy in the solemnity of the Holy Mother of God that just as we glory in the beginnings of your grace, so one day we may rejoice in its completion through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. Amen. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right through right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, and to praise, bless, and glorify your name on the solemnity of the motherhood of the blessed ever Virgin Mary. For by the overshadowing of the Holy Spirit, she conceived your only begotten Son, and without losing the glory of virginity, brought forth into the world the eternal light, Jesus Christ our Lord. Through him, the angels praise your majesty, dominions adore, and powers tremble before you, heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exaltation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. To you, therefore, most merciful Father, we make humble prayer and petition through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, that you accept and bless these gifts, these offerings, these holy and unblemished sacrifices, which we offer you firstly for your holy Catholic Church. Be pleased to grant her peace, to guard, unite, and govern her throughout the whole world together with your servant Francis, our Pope, and Jacques, our Bishop, and all those who, holding to the truth, hand on the Catholic and apostolic faith. Remember, Lord, your servants. And all gathered here, whose faith and devotion are known to you, for them we offer you this sacrifice of praise, or they offer it for themselves and all who are dear to them for the redemption of their souls in hope of health and well-being and paying their homage to you, the eternal God, living and true, in communion with those whose memory we venerate, especially the glorious ever Virgin Mary, Mother of our God and Lord Jesus Christ, and blessed Joseph her spouse, your blessed apostles and martyrs, Peter and Paul, Andrew, James, John, Thomas, James, Philip, Bartholomew, Matthew, Simon, and Jude, Linus, Cletus, Clement, Sixtus, Cornelius, Cyprian, Lawrence, Chrysogonos, John, and Paul, Cosmas, and Damian, and all your saints, we ask that through their merits and prayers, in all things we may be defended by your protecting help. Therefore, Lord, we pray, Gracious, accept this oblation of our service, that of your whole family. Order our days in your peace, and command that we be delivered from eternal damnation, and counted among the flock 
of those you have chosen. Be pleased, O God, we pray, to bless, acknowledge, and approve this offering in every respect. Make it spiritual and acceptable, so that it may become for us the body and blood of your most beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. On the day before he was to suffer, he took bread in his holy and venerable hands, and with eyes raised to heaven, to you, O God, is Almighty Father, giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took this precious chalice in his holy and venerable hands, and once more giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. As we celebrate the memorial of the blessed passion, the resurrection from the dead, and the glorious ascension into heaven of Christ your Son, our Lord, we, your servants and your holy people, offer to your glorious majesty from the gifts that you have given us, this pure victim, this holy victim, this spotless victim, the holy bread of eternal life, and the chalice of everlasting salvation. Be pleased to look upon this offering with a serene and kindly countenance, and to accept them, as once you are pleased to accept the gifts of your servant Abel, the just, the sacrifice of Abraham, our father in faith, and the offering of your high priest Melchizedek, a holy sacrifice, a spotless victim. In humble prayer, we ask you, Almighty God, command that these gifts be borne by the hands of your holy angel to your altar on high, in the sight of your divine majesty, so that all of us who through this participation at the altar receive the most holy body and blood of your Son may be filled with every grace and heavenly blessing. Remember also, Lord, your servants. Who have gone before us with a sign of faith and rest in the sleep of peace, Grant them, O Lord, we pray, and all who sleep in Christ, a place of refreshment, light, and peace. To us also, your servants, who those sinners hope in your abundant mercies, gracious grant some share, and fellowship with your holy apostles and martyrs, with John the Baptist, Stephen, Matthias, Barnabas, Ignatius, Alexander, Marcellinus, Peter, Felicity Perpetua, Agatha, Lucy, Agnes, Cecilia, Anastasia, and all your saints, admit us, we beseech you, into their company, not weighing our merits, but granting us your pardon through Jesus Christ our Lord, through whom you continue to make all these good things, O Lord. You sanctify them, fill them with life, bless them, and bestow them upon us. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, 
in the unity of the Holy Spirit. O oh, glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Everybody say, everybody say, everybody say. command and formed by divine teaching we dare to say our father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Gracious grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace, I leave you, my peace, I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other a sign of Christ's peace. the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, come not worthy that you should enter the world, but only stay the way and my
did you know that your baby boy will someday walk on water? Mary, did you know that your baby boy will save our sons and daughters? Did you know that your baby boy has come to make you new? This child that you deliver will soon deliver you. Mary, did you know that your baby boy would come strong with his hand? Mary, did you know that your baby boy has walked with angels so? Did you know that your baby boy is what we're angels saw? You kiss your little baby. You kiss the face of God. The deaf will hear, the dead will live again. The lame will leap, the dumb will speak, the presence of the Lamb. Mary, did you know that your baby boy is Lord of all creation? Mary, did you know that your baby boy will one day rule the nation? Did you know that your baby boy was heaven's perfect lamb? The sleepy child you hold in is the grave. She's our mother. She didn't know much of the things. She was growing to that faith, but she remains a perfect example of how we respond to God's call as messengers. Before we stand and close in our prayer, I would like to invite Dennis and Jane uh, for the numsha blessing of their 58th anniversary in their marriage. 58. My dear sisters and brothers in Christ, we are part of this couple to celebrate the anniversary of the marriage of our brother and sister. As we join them in their joy, we join them also in their gratitude. God has set them among us as a sign of his love, and through the years they have remained faithful and have fulfilled their responsibilities as parents, let us give thanks for all the favors on Dennis and Jane have received during their marriage life. May God keep them in their love for each other 
so that they may be more and more of one mind and one heart. Lord God, increase and consecrate the love which Dennis and Jane have for one another. The wedding rings they once exchanged are the sign of their fidelity. May they continue to prosper in the grace of the sacrament. We ask thee through Christ our Lord. Amen. At this time, I invite you to stand and just stretch your hands towards the blessing of Dennis and Jane. Lord God and the Creator, we bless and praise your name. In the beginning, you made man and woman so that they might enter a communion of life and love. You likewise blessed the union of Dennis with Jane, so that they might reflect the union of Christ with his church. Look with kindness on them today. Amid the joys and struggles of their life, you have preserved the union between them. Renew their marriage covenant, increase your love in them, and strengthen their bond of peace so that surrounded by their children and grandchildren, they may always rejoice at the gift of your blessing. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. May God the Almighty Father give you joy. May the Holy Son of God have mercy on you and help you in good times and in bad. May the Holy Spirit always fill your hearts with love. Amen. Amen. In the name of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Thank you. Thank you. Let us, oh sorry, you want to say something? Thank you very much. Uh, with, this is a special week for us. The, our anniversary is tomorrow, our 58th anniversary. And it's also my wife's birthday <laughs> on Thursday. It's one of those big birthdays with a zero. <laughs> She's going to be 30 years old on Thursday. <laughs> I'd also like to introduce our daughter, who could be with us today, Maureen Severson. Thank you very much for it. God bless. Let us pray. We have received this heavenly sacrament with joy, O oh Lord. Grant, we pray, that it may lead us to eternal life, for we rejoice to proclaim the blessed ever Virgin Mary mother of your son and mother of the church through christ our lord Amen. may we please be seated for a moment for announcements we have any announcements anniversaries birthdays i just want to let you know that uh, there have been some people asking about the masks because we have had some cases of COVID in our parish, but the masks are something that is personal. If you want to come in a mask, you are free to do so. Uh, if you feel uncomfortable, that area is good for you. Uh, but all those we have had in our parish who have had COVID, they have just very mild uh, illnesses. They are getting well. It's just that they have to quarantine for five, maybe to 10 days. Otherwise, we are doing well. But like I said, uh, we are not going to mandate the mask. If you want to come in mask, feel free to do so. And also, we know we are in these three years of national revival for the Eucharist. And we have been doing the blessed, adoration of the Blessed Sacrament on Wednesdays. But now we are changing. We are doing it on Fridays, beginning this Friday from 9.45 to 10.45 uh, a.m. Every Friday, we have the adoration of the Blessed Sacrament here in the church. Whenever you have time, come and be part of this. We are doing uh, the national revival of the Eucharist so that we help one another and all the Catholics to believe in the true presence of our Lord Jesus Christ in the Eucharist. Uh, I have the information in the bulletin if you want to learn a little bit more about the national 
revive of the Eucharist, please read. But I'm encouraging you, whenever you have time, Fridays from 9.45 to 10.45 a.m., beginning this Friday, and then followed by 11 o'clock Mass. May we please stand. The Lord be with you. May the Almighty God bless you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. Turn to page 253. And leave me, guide me. 253. As we leave today, let's go tell it on the map. Jesus Christ is born. Amen. Amen. Go tell it on the map.